Okay, I'm working on the Euro connector. My dip pack. And, uh, down there in the hole is where the black plastic tube goes on mine. This is the tube I'm talking about. Right here. Okay. Right here at this ruler. Here's the tube itself. It's black plastic. Some sort of greasy feeling, slippery stuff. It's actually uh, 6 and 7 sixteenths long. And the OD of the black plastic tube itself is 0.162 and small change at one end and point, uh, 0.163 at the other end. So I've been taking drill bits here and reaching into the hole with the drill bits. A 0.163 drill bit goes into that Euro connector hole easy but a .176, which is the next size bigger that I have, confirmed with my dial caliper, a .176 is a no-go. So, yeah, I'm trying to replace this, this uh, tube down in that hole, which is supposedly supposed to be made out of steel. Now, you may not be able to see it in this movie, but... At the bottom of that hole, the brass tubing has a very fine part of it that sticks out toward us. You probably can't tell, but I can I can see it when I look down the hole. This is uh, by the feed roll guy. This is by the dip pack feed rolls. And that metal tube, that black plastic tube, is supposed to be actually made out of metal. I've been told steel, and uh, it should come out at that end, closer to the feed rolls. Uh, my friend Jim in Massachusetts told me that. Now, uh, i got to see if I can dig up. i got to make one of these things, or either buy one somewhere. And it's uh, roughly .163 on the OD. Or maybe it's supposed to be 164. And the inner bore is supposed to be in the neighborhood of, I would think, for a .030 wire, .031. And I would think uh, for a uh, 045 wire, it should be 046. And maybe uh, for an 0625 or a 16th wire, it should be 0635 or maybe 064. Now, uh, seeing as the thing is 6 and 7 sixteenths long, the black plastic that I have, it's also scored on the OD. You probably won't be able to see it. Yeah, there it is. Apparently, they, they were running the wire into this uh, Euro connector at one time, and it ran down the side of this tube, believe it or not. And uh, this tube itself is... Uh, actually quite flexible I could bend it but I'm not going to try because it's the only piece of tubing I got but this is for the dip pack MIG and uh, uh, it's clear down the bore you can see down the bore and uh, I need to replace this with a piece of steel tube or maybe aluminum tube or maybe even brass maybe I'm going to have to end up making it maybe I can I've looked online I can't get any tubing with a, uh, I look actually for 3 16ths, uh, which is 187. And I tried a piece of 1875. Uh, I also have this 1875 OD steel rod, which I uh, tapered the tip on very, very slightly in efforts to get it to go into that hole. And I can tell you, the 1875, by actual measure now, not guesswork, this thing will not go down into that hole. So it's definitely not a 3 16 hole. And it occurs to me that maybe that hole is uh, European-sized 
or metric, let's put it that way. And uh, in order to make this thing, it it involves, I would guess, uh, deep hole drilling techniques or rifle bore drilling with a super fine uh, drill bit, like about 0.031. And or just a, or point oh four six or whatever for the for the correct size wire. So this is going to be a real trick to make this thing or to find it. This is an this is a uh, Erco Dip Pack two hundred mig welder and a missing part of the Euro connector. Here's a very crude drawing of what I'm talking about in the inside of the Euro connector. As you can tell, see this slightly slant. This is the where the black tube is, okay. Here's the outside threads on the Euro connector. The gun is that way. This way is the feed rolls. This is the black, the feed rolls I put closer in this drawing to make it more obvious because the drawing is small. But if you look close, you can see this is all brass at the back, okay, around here. And uh, there's like a raised, small, very small part that's also brass and real thin wall, uh, like a miniature sewing symbol down there at the bottom of that hole. And that black tube slides into that from this end, or possibly from this end too. I've never tried to insert it from this end. But if you move it in from this end, I'm not even sure if 6 and 7 sixteenths is the correct length. I kind of doubt that it is. But anyway, I got some problems with the Euro connector there. I'm missing a part, or either uh, I have the incorrect part. It's supposed to be made out of steel, possibly with an 0625 or 063 bore, give or take. And I don't know if they made them in different sizes for different size wires, but I do know if the uh, I want to uh, run 030 wire, it'd be nice to have uh, an 031 bore. So, you know, these are the baffling things with the dip pack, you know. And this kind of stuff, the parts to the, uh, the parts to the, um, Euro connector, that stuff is not in the owner's manual. These parts are not in the owner's manual as a drawing or as having part numbers. So the whole thing is, uh, kind of baffling. All right. Yeah, and here's that, um, black plastic tube right here it came out of the euro connector and I'm taking pictures of it right here on the outside you can see see that there was a score well, there it is the tip of my right my left index finger right there where I'm pointing that's where it starts goes down to the left and it sort of spirals around the tube, at least partway, from both ends. Apparently, they started feeding the wire in, and it ran down the outside of the tube. Uh, so, uh, you know, this thing's supposed to be made out of steel, not made out of uh, plastic. I don't even know if this is plastic. Maybe for when you're feeding aluminum wire. This tube may be Teflon. I don't really know what it is. It's similar. This is a similar material than our uh, municipal trash pail, which is what it's resting on top of. It's a black plastic. It's kind of slippery feeling, and it's uh, it's kind of flexible. So, uh, yeah, this is part of my Euro connector for the uh, for the dip pack MIG, which is uh, right over here. The dip pack MIG. The Euro connector right there. And there's your interior view. Let's see if I can get down in there. You still can't see that uh, little raised brass portion, but it's in there. All right.